Hey, what's up guys, it's Fish here and welcome back to my glorious Bannerman. So today we're going to be looking at a battle that me and Pixelated the Bolo played in a cop campaign we were doing. Um, and it was just really, really interesting and a bit different, so I thought I'd go ahead and uh, just go ahead and show it. Well, by when I say a bit different, it's basically just an epic clash as we kind of surround this reinforcement army and it's just absolutely huge. But the interesting thing about it is because we're using the unique starting, uh, part, uh, starting positions for for heroes uh, we're both playing as the empire and uh, we actually go ahead and have sterling as the second empire player so pixelated apollo is playing as the uh, as Belshazzar, and because of that he's actually playing as sterling so the empire uniforms are just really really different this is the sterling uniform so it's just really cool to see just you know the not the the static colors of the empire just in everything and here is the Averland units as well so basically the Averland units are going to come out of the uh, deployment zone as they reinforce this really really small army and we're just going to encircle it and just basically watch the battle unfold so this isn't a multiplayer battle so it's just going to basically be a clash there's i think there's about four thousand men coming out of this reinforcement zone so it's probably going to be kind of laggy as we get into it but it's just going to look absolutely epic as they just charge out. Just look at them all. Just all the whole of Averland just coming out. We've got the troops from Sterling as well moving up. Charging in. That's not too good of a crossbowman as well. The crossbowman actually get charged down. Me and Apollo did not micro them very well. And the rest of the Averland troops are going to come pouring in. We'll go ahead and press K and watch it. Yeah, you can definitely see the lag uh, starting to occur right now. But just the sheer scale of this battle is totally worth it. Just look at that right now. You can see the development. We have the Outriders or the Pistoliers right now picking away. We've got Mortars shooting in. And just look at the scale. We have uh, Baltazar about to call in some magic down here right now. Is this going to be fire? Or is this just what it is right now? Oh my god. The explosion right now is just going ahead and doing so much damage. It might not look like it's doing damage, but it definitely is. The Sterling Halberdiers holding the line as best they can. Yeah, this is super laggy, but it's got a lot of men in such a tightly compacted area. And as we start killing them, they'll start going away and the lag will start smoothing up. So on this right flank, we're starting to close in right now. We've got the enemy general caught him. We're gonna start hitting away, trying to do damage with the spearman. But he is just jumping through the men. We also have the Outriders just getting picked apart by enemy missile fire right now. And they're just going to turn tail and run. Another huge explosion. Yeah, look at the lag as we just go deep into this battle formation. The mortar as well overhead. Because we actually did own ourselves a mortar as well. And that is definitely paying dividends. Look at that explosion along with the Balthazar's explosion. It's definitely doing damage to the enemy. The halberdiers and the troops of Sterling are trying their best to hold the line. We also have a unit of great swords over here as well. Balthazar actually starts off with a unit of great swords, which is so OP. Because the, the Empire great swords are just so strong. And they're going to be slicing away. Again, if we zoom out and just look at the scale of this battle right now, we have completely enclosed them in to this, this reinforcement area. They have nowhere to run right now. And we are just picking away against the AI. So obviously there's not going to be any like crazy tactics or anything like that in this engagement. I just wanted to show you because it was just such a cool looking battle. You can see the mortars are actually starting to find their targets now. And actually starting to... Oh my god, look at that hit. It's actually starting to kill people because of the health's been lowered. Oh, we have another spell right here. Averland are fighting, fighting as hard as they can. But the Empire soldiers are holding firm. I guess the Sterling soldiers, I should say, not the Empire soldiers. The Sterling forces are holding firm. As we just traverse this battlefield right now. The enemy general right there. Apollo is using his Sterling troops to go ahead and push through on here. On this right flank. It's really starting to open up. Again, oh my god, Baltazar just keeps on casting this spell and it just keeps on exploding. I feel so sorry for all these troops in the center have clumped up because they are just not having a fun day of it. But it looks like there's going to be a charge on this right flank against the, the Averland troops. 
And as they turn around to try and flee, the, the swordsmen are going to be cutting them down. No surrender, no retreat. Again, if we just traverse down this battle, like you can see, oh my god, Baltazar is casting it again. Apollo loves this spell, apparently. Just look at that. It's just such a cool looking battle. Like when we were playing it, we were just like, the scale of this battle is just so cool. You can definitely see the lag is starting to die down a lot more now as the troops start to die. If we actually look at the, uh, who, how many kills are actually in this battle, um, or how many units are in this battle, if it lets me. Yeah, so there's about a good 6,000 actually engaged in this battle right now. And they are in a very, very, very tight enclosed spot. The great swords are going to be having an absolute field day, cutting down these swordsmen. These great swords are just so superior. And look how cool this backdrop was as well. This is Averland's uh, city, and this is the entire city, like what it looks like on the campaign map as well, which I thought was just so, so cool. Like, but you actually see it in the distance, like, we're kind of engaging out here. And then the next battle would be us besieging the capital, you know. So we, the Averland have kind of sallied out and they're trying to stop us. You know, they've sent out the guard to go ahead and try and stop our besieging army from kind of getting set up. And this is where the battles ensued. And obviously all the routing troops are running back to the city. And I just thought that looked absolutely epic. Definitely looks cool because you can even see the gates and everything like that. So, so much detail. It really, really is. So if we go back to it, it looks like the, the troops from Everland are starting to rout. The superior magic and the superior missile damage from a mortar, it's just really starting to pay dividends. Because the amount of time Baltazar has just set down that explosion. The mortar fire as well coming in overhead. That's definitely racked up a lot of kills. Actually finding some friendly fire right here. Baltazar is even going to go in himself. Charging and God, he is not too bad. That was, a, that was a pretty naughty charge by Balthazar right there. Apollo charging in his general. He's obviously out of all, he's out of his wings of magic or something. Troops of Averland, that is their only hope is if they can kill Balthazar or wound him and their, their men out, but it's not looking good for them right now. The Outriders over here, just smashing in on the enemy archers. These guys aren't super good on the charge, but you know, they're, they're still cavalry. They can still have nice impact hits. The colors of the uniforms actually look pretty similar as well between Averland and Sterling. The green kind of blends with the yellow pretty well. But you can just see how much of the, the Averland troops have been spent this battle. You can even see Balthazar as well in there. He is just so huge. I love the, f I like, there's a mod which actually goes ahead and reduces the size of these heroes. But I kind of like them being this size, you know, being like above men, you know. These kind of are like, almost like godlike figures leading your empire. So I like them being a lot bigger than the average soldier. And he is just not giving up. He is leading his sterling troops to victory. So again, if you want to go ahead and use this mod, I would highly recommend it for a co-op campaign. Uh, it just makes it so much more interesting. Um, also, you, you could use it as well if you just wanted to kind of have the uh, enemy legendary lords uh, just, just chilling around being their own faction. Because if you played as the Empire with this mod on, uh, you'd have Balthazar just going off doing his own thing, kind of, so you could have another Empire army. You know, with a legendary lord doing his own thing. Same with the dwarves, you know. You could have Ungrim up in the north and you could play as Thorgrim down in the south. So it adds in a lot of opportunity uh, to kind of just kind of have a bit more of an interesting campaign. And if you if you couple that with the the uh, mod which goes ahead and allows you to go ahead and, and occupy every town and city, not just being it uh, locked, you can have Balthazar just going off down to the south and just conquering all the orcs whilst Cole Franz does something else. You know, the mods are really, really exciting. There's already so many good ones, and I'm so happy that the modding community is really getting behind Warhammer because I just can't wait to see what they come up with.
as I said, like a DEI or a Radius mob would just be absolutely epic. So let's go and just quit this replay because it's pretty much over. Uh, we did go ahead and actually win that. It does say close defeat, but that's just because I quit out. Uh, we did actually go ahead and win that battle, um, as you can see. Uh, apparently we didn't even take any losses as well. I'm not really sure what this is doing. Uh, but yeah, it was a really fun battle, you know, something a bit quirky, not just an online battle, you know. And it was also cool because we had Sterling versus Averland, and there's not going to be many replays which actually show, like, that type of clash. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this battle. Make sure to go ahead and drop a like and a comment if you did, and I'll see you guys next time, and fish out.